people deluded I'm back again now I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with the news or you're familiar with the landscape which is football and reacting to this coronavirus we're not playing there's a lot of talk of project restart and you know behind closed doors and neutral venues and world cup style quarantine um, preparation for players and squads and stuff we don't know what's going to happen there's a lot I like I, I'm actually encouraged to hear you know people are looking at ways but whether we can play again I don't know I want to see the league resume but I don't know now it does feel with that being said if you're not playing at the top level like Premier League even some other top five big leagues in Europe you're, it's peak you know um La Liga and Spain has been suspended. No, Spain has Spain been suspended. Ger um, Germany have been trying to play again. I'm pretty sure La Liga and France have been suspended. France definitely. Um, so yes, it's not even it's not even the case for some top teams. We've all seen in England at lower league levels. You know, national league. A lot of leagues are being cancelled, and the same ha can be said for academy. The academy game now for me it's a bit of pill to swallow because. I know I'm probably known for my Arsenal stuff and mainly my Arsenal stuff is the most viewed but the reason I started YouTube was because I like to watch young players, I like to go to youth tournaments, I like to go to youth games, I like to see players develop like how they were at 16, what are they like at 26, you get sort of thing and it sucks that a lot of players won't be able to continue the season now because under 23s and under 18s has been cancelled. Now for Arsenal at under 18s level it's been a difficult season, it's been a tough season dumped out of the FA Youth Cup, which we should have done better in. League positions abysmal. Not really put up a, a respectable fight for our um, to retain our league, our league title after such a good season last year. We've got a young squad of scholars. We've had some injuries. You know, there's been some factors, but it is what it is. Um, our under-16s were into the final of um, their, not the Youth Cup, I can't remember the name of the competition, but they're into the final of something as well. So it sucks for them. And it is difficult, people. I feel it for people at all levels. I feel it for, you know, obviously, everybody can't play football now so you're scared about your physical levels and stuff how do you maintain that i feel it for under 16s as well because you know they're probably listen away from we're probably at the time where a lot of people knew who was not just arsenal but in general who was getting scholarships and who wasn't sort of thing but there's a lot of the time you hear a lot of teams they weren't going to give a man a scholarship before but you know Throughout this, the season's been going on because you're typically told this in in by the, by the latest early January, um, late December sort of sort of thing. So you can play the rest of the season knowing if you're going to get a scholar or not. But some players are able to convince their coaches. You know, I might have said I might be a coach and I say, you know what, Joe Blogs, you're not getting a scholarship now, and this might be November. But through playing, you know, playing, doing this thing, you might reverse it and say, oh, I'm going to give you a scholarship now. Like if I remember, there was a defender at Arsenal called Joe Jones. Initially, he wasn't offered a scholarship, and then he was was and I'm pretty sure he didn't take it and he went Leicester or something I cannot remember but these sort of things happen and it's all fun and games happening at that level it can happen everywhere so in top of people playing in League 2 National League and some sort of teams depending on who you are you're going to probably have to consider a new career people because you know imagine I play I'm an Arsenal under 16s Arsenal said I'm not going to get a scholarship now okay cool I've accepted it how do I get another club? Because you can't go on trial right now. Unless you unless you're cool with the eight with the academy head of staff or your dad can make a call and really do stuff, there's not really any way you can showcase your talents. So you're kind of kind of having it's it's tough not having a club anyways, because this is like because in pre-season this happens, but this is like a month months of pre-season now. It's sad because you're going to keep yourself fit. You don't know when you're going to be able to trial. You don't, your agent, even if your agent can drum up interest, clubs don't really know how they're reacting financially. They might only, some clubs only have a certain amount of money for a certain amount of scholars. So they might say, yo, you know what? We know you're good, but we've allocated this amount for our scholars. You know, he's, he, your, your clients, your guy is good, but he's not necessarily head and shoulders above his, the respective person in this position. So we're not, we would bring him on if we could, but we're not going to. So there's bearer of that. So your agent can't really do much for you. Or if you're an under 18s, especially if you're a second year scholar where, you know, it's, the, it's you can become a third year, but it's kind of crunch time now. It's like if you're not going to get a pro deal, you're going to move on. So I feel it for these players that have been, you know, for thinking they're not going to get a pro deal and started to believe in and then it's happened. Because again, you're going to be on the scrap heap. And again, not everybody... It's tough because you know there's Arsenal, all these Premier League teams are going to release people. Again, they want to trial at other clubs, but you're not going to be able to. These clubs are going to trial other people and it's going to have a domino effect. And there's going to be a lot of people out of the game, people. Like there's 26 year olds in National League that are going to have to pack it up now because it is what it is sort of thing. So I really feel it for the academy players, man. I really, I really, really feel it, man, because especially for the, for Arsenal's under-16s under turning on their ends because a lot of them were starting to get first team... 
I say first team, but under 18s football in little dribs and drabs. Players, players already at under 18s level were starting to um, that were injured were starting to get over their injury injury problems. Players, you look at um, Joe Lopez off the top of my head, Sam Greenwood, Ben Cottrell. They were making inroads towards stepping up to the 23s on a permanent sort of basis, sort of thing. Um, obviously, again, you had under 23s doing their thing and whatnot. Um, so it sucks. Um, Obviously, the best thing is that everybody's safe and whatnot. I can't complain, but it is, it is, it does suck, man. It is does leave a bit of taste in my mouth for certain players, and I do hope everybody's able to resume their dreams of being a professional footballer, sort of thing. But it is what it is in that regards, man. Yeah, man, it's sad, but the world keeps spinning. On that note, people, DG, it's always a pleasure.